Having a little car trouble? Is everything all right, sir? Are you hurt? You look worried about something. I don't know where I am. Well, do you know where you were headed? I, uh, I was going to visit my son. Have you experienced any sort of confusion like this before? I'm not sure. Well, where does he live? I tried calling him several times, but he didn't answer. Let's try my phone. Please. What's his number? And your son's name? Sean. Hi. This is uh, John Martin. Is this Sean that I'm speaking to? Great. So, I have your father here. And, uh... No, no. He's alright. He's alright. He just, uh... You know what? Can you hold on for one moment? Did you want me to tell him? That you had a, uh... What? An old man moment? He had car trouble. On the way to your place. I see. Um, hang on. What? He said that you two haven't talked in over four months. And he had no clue that you were headed over. Four months? Sir, where are you located? Oh, that's right around the corner. You know what? I'll make sure he gets there safely, all right? All right. How come you're so quiet? No reason. Well, get excited, man. Hmm? You're getting promoted, man. A promotion. <laughs> Trust me. I can feel these things. Okay. Thank you both for coming in to speak with me. So, any idea why I called the two of you in here? No. How about some femdom? Is that ringing any bells? Anyone? Stands for female dominance? You know, it's funny. I'm sitting down for dinner the other night with my son was visiting home on winter break. He says, Dad, between what hours of the day and night do you think porn is watched the most? I said, I don't know, son, maybe between 10 p.m. and 2 in the morning? <laughs> he laughs. He says, the correct answer is from 9 a.m. to 5 at night. I thought he was just pulling my leg. But then I had the IT guys in for a system upgrade last night. Hey, uh, boy, why don't you get all three of us some coffee? You sure? Go. Damn. My money was on Boyd. I'm very disappointed in you, Grant. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm terribly sorry, sir. What is it that excites you about watching a woman stick something in another man's ass? I'm just dying to hear this one. I, I, uh... Does Dana know you're into this shit? No, no, no. 
I guess that's why you feel the need to get your rocks off on the clock, huh? I can promise you it'll never happen again, sir. You're damn right it won't. You're fired! Thank you for your time. And throw out the keyboard and mouse on your way out, too. Hey, Grant. Grant! Why'd you do it? Why'd you cover for me? You have a wife and kids. You need this job more than I do. All right. Well, I owe you one, though, right? Just promise not to screw this up again, all right? Yeah. You got it, man. Are you crazy? Why would you suggest something like that? Well, isn't that the most logical thing? Put him in a place where he can get proper care? Well, in most cases, yes. But why should he go and piss all of his money away to some old folks home when he's got family that can put it to good use? I've already told you, we're not in his will. <sighs> Don't you get it? It's a sign. He came to you in a time of need. This is your chance to be in it. Are you slow? So what are you saying? That he moves in here with us and we, what? We quit our jobs so that we can feed him and change his diapers all day? So that what? So that maybe he'll write us into the will? Don't be so dramatic. You know, people can live for years on dementia. So what's a couple of years? For all the money we'd ever need. We could have anything and everything we ever wanted. We could travel the world, have sex on top of skyscrapers, and never work another day for the rest of our lives. Hey. You're home early. You got fired, didn't you? <sighs> Great. Boy got caught looking at porn at work. I covered for him. <sighs> oh, how noble of you. You must feel really stupid now, don't you? I'm actually glad about what I did. Good things happen to people that do good things for other people. <laughs> okay. I don't have time for this. I gotta go. Where are you going? I got called into work. College kid. Drugs or alcohol? Actually, bee stings. Like 200 all over his face and his neck. He was highly allergic. Damn. Yeah, and the parents, they still want to have an open casket. So I've got to go in and try to make him look somewhat recognizable. Well, if there's anyone that can do it, it's you. Don't try to sweet talk me, Mr. Unemployed. <laughs> can I at least have a kiss? I gotta go. Happy now? I'll see you later. Good things, Dana. Good things to come, I promise. You rang my doorbell? Yes, yes we did. Very sharp observation there. You see what I did there? You always maintain the control, always. Always maintain control, got it. New guy. Is this something I could help you two with? This is a very nice house you've got here. I would have to concur. Listen, whatever it is you two are trying to sell, I'm not interested. Must be hard keeping up with the mortgage on just your wife's paycheck. And you are? 
How about we go inside for a little chat, Grant? So, we're here because you owe our boss some money. Your boss? Sal Tandino. I never borrowed money from a Sal Tandino. But you borrowed money from someone, correct? Borrow, no, but my grandpa helped me out with the down payment for this house. But no. Your grandpa ever tell you why we got that money that he gave to you? I didn't ask. Okay. Here's how it works. He wasn't done paying us back. How could he? He passed away four months ago. We're aware of that. I'm sorry for your loss, but we aren't in the credit card business. His debt doesn't just disappear because he decided to die. Are, are you serious? Do we look like fucking comedians to you? Nice one. This is bullshit. I didn't know that he borrowed money to help me out. I wouldn't have accepted it if that was the case. Lucky for you, the boss is cutting you a deal. Your grandfather owed us 12 grand still. He dropped it down to eight. He was fond of him. And what if I can't pay you back? <laughs> what do you think happens? I think you've seen it in the movie before. Yeah, and those are just the sugar-coated versions. I just got fired from my job. I have no money, none. Okay, I'm a reasonable guy. We'll be back in two weeks, but if you you don't have at least a grand for me then. We'll take something from this nice residence of yours. Uh, what? You sure? What, what are you doing? New guy over here believes this uh, laptop is something of great importance to you. Look, I'll get you your money. Just don't take that. Anything but that. You can have it back once you've cleared your debt with us. Fucking new guy. I think I'm gonna head out soon. Everything okay, Dad? Just getting tired. Well, why don't you stay here tonight? Stay here? Yeah. Like, stay the night? Well, uh, Alice and I were talking, and we think it might be best for you to move in here with us. Oh, I don't know. You know, I'd hate to do that to you both. Well, why don't you just stay tonight? You can decide in the morning. I don't know. I guess he was cooking something. He fell asleep on the couch. Well, yeah, I saw that. He can't be left alone. Starting to have second thoughts about that nursing home now? Not until your name's on that will. Dad. Hey. I've got someone here we'd like you to meet. 
Can't you see I'm trying to watch the game here? Oh, hello there. <laughs> you must be Murr. Why, yes I am, and who might you be? Patricia. She's going to come over during the day to help you out while we're at work. Help me out with what? Anything you need. Anything? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't do this. Dad, what the hell did you say to her? He probably doesn't even remember. Way to go, Mur. Hey, Grant, take a seat. Thank you. So any good news? Well, look, I'm just going to get to the point here. I've gotten ex-cons hired. I've gotten people hired for jobs they weren't even qualified for. I even got Chick-fil-A to hire a lesbian last year. It was amazing. But look, you, with this on your record, you might as well have killed somebody instead of just getting a quick work jerk in. Nobody's biting. I mean, nobody. I'm sorry, man. What are you, what are you doing? Good morning. What's with the outfit? I got you an interview. With who? It was in the paper. Here goes the address. Interviews in an hour. Hi. Can I help you? I'm here for the interview. Interview? Hang on a sec. Hey, hon. There's some guy here about an interview. Oh, good. Thanks for letting me know. I told you I put an ad in the newspaper. You must be Grant. That's me. Great. Come on in. So before we introduce you to him, I just want to mention that we've had a little bit of trouble keeping people around. Uh, he, uh, he could be a lot to handle. Yes! Way to go, Vince! Just a second. Oh man, is this the 06 Rose Bowl? That was a great game. It sure was. Vince ran all over him. Hey, whatever happened to him? Does he still play football? <laughs> he can't buy a roster spot right now. I don't mean that because you went bankrupt. <laughs> now that's funny. Hey, what's your name, pal? Grant. I'm Murray. Just call me Murr. Well, I'll let you get back to your game. It was nice meeting you, Murr. Okay, take care, Grant. Sorry about that. I'm a bit of a sports fanatic. Wow. <laughs> Looks like you two would get along very well. So, where's your son? Son. The one that can be a lot to handle? We don't have a son. Your dog? Him? We're looking for a caregiver. Someone to spend time with him, cook for him, get him out of the house once in a while. Uh, you think you could handle that? I'm not sure if I'm qualified for this position. I do security mostly. No, it's perfect. We know he'd be safe with you. Hey, Grant, here comes the play of the game. Go, go, go. Yes! So, what do you think? Thanks for cooking tonight. So, when do they want you to start? Tomorrow. Look, I know this is not what you want to be doing, but... But the job is a job, I know. I was going to say that I think this will be good for you, for us. I mean, we'll get to spend more time together. I take you you're not mad at me anymore? Seems like I should be, since we are eating dinner on our kitchen floor. I'm going to get our kitchen table back from them, I promise. <laughs> I don't know. This is kind of nice. Really? <laughs> yeah. You know, 
It kind of reminds me of the very first night we were here. Oh, yeah, the delivery was coming the next day, so we had to sleep on the floor. Yeah, and those three bottles of wine helped. Helped, too. You fell asleep on me. <laughs> was that such a bad thing? Besides the snoring. I was not. Take that back. Shh. Everything okay? I think so. All right. You two have fun. That smells good. Oh, no, no, give me that, give me that, there you go. You know, making any for yourself? Oh no, I ate beforehand, oh, fork, 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 fork. Bacon smells good too. Mm-hmm. You think after breakfast we can go for a drive or something? Where'd you want to go? I don't know. You know, just, just to get out of the house for a while. Okay, well, finish up and after that we'll go. Yes, sir. Take a left up here. Thought we weren't going anywhere. Okay. What are we doing here? Why are you stopping? Because this is someone's driveway. Yeah, I could see that. Is this where you used to live? <laughs> used to? <laughs> Mer, hold on, what are you doing? Mer! Hold, Mer, what are you doing? Hold on. Mer, come back. Mer. Ah, home sweet home. Who the fuck are you? I'm the owner of this property. Who the fuck are you, old man? Oh, I'm calling the police. You're invading my home. Your arrogance is impressive. Get down on your knees and apologize or I'm going to shoot you. I don't get down on my knees for anybody. You're going to have to shoot my ass. Wait, please, please. Didn't you read the sign? It says trespassers will be shot. This is all my fault. I'm terribly sorry. So I guess I should be pointing this at you then. We could leave and forget this ever happened. That's what you want, not what I want. I know this isn't what you want to do. Oh, it's not? You don't. What makes you so confident? Because you've never fired this gun before. <laughs> <laughs> He'll do, Mer. What the fuck? You passed. Let's go in the kitchen. <laughs> I just don't get it. It's really not that hard to comprehend. Why was someone fake having Alzheimer's or dementia? That's not something you joke around about. Have a seat and I'll tell you. Why do you think people pretend? I don't know. For many reasons, I assume. When you were a kid, you ever fake being sick so you didn't have to go to school? I mean, yeah, but who didn't? And what'd your mother make you do? She made you go anyway. 
Once she caught wind of it, but at first she made me chicken noodle soup and handed me the TV remote. Did you ever tell a woman that you loved her just so she'd sleep with you? No, I haven't. Can you please get to the point? The point is, people pretend to get a reaction from others to see what if this was true. How would they react? Telling a lie to bring out the truth. So what truth are you searching for? Here you are. Have they arrived? Just pulled up. Perfect. Hey! We're here! Hello, hey, ladies! So good to see you again. Ladies, I would like to introduce you to my friend Grant. Hey, Grant. Now, you know that I normally don't like to share, <laughs> but I want you to keep me company. Okay. And you take care of Grant. Keep him company. So good to see you. You would think he'd have a heart attack doing it for this long at his age. Sex is healthy for the heart, actually. The Viagra he took, not so much. What, are you a doctor now, too? Used to be a psychologist. Oh, really? Found this to be more fulfilling. You can treat a patient for months. No results. You feel like a failure. But this instant gratification. I make someone come. I did my job. And it pays well, too. Are you sure you don't want me to blow you? It's on the house. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm sure being a psychologist pays well too, right? Oh, please, compared to this? If you don't mind me asking, how much does he pay you? Murr's a special client. When he calls, we drop whatever we're doing and get there. That doesn't exactly answer my question. He pays each of us a million a year. A what? <laughs> and they say you gotta go to college to get a good job. <laughs> Ah, oh, well, as always, that was exquisite, ladies. Thank you very much. Give me a kiss. Ah, uh, thank you. Makes my day. Till next time. Bye bye. Hey, Grant, come on in here for a second. Have something that might interest you. Here, have a seat. I'd like you to work for me, Grant. Work for you? How does five grand a week sound? Five grand a week to do what? What happened here today? My son and Alice cannot know about this. No, I wasn't going to tell him about this. You don't have to pay me to keep quiet. I know that. I'd just like to compensate you for your loyalty. <laughs> it's funny, I woke up today actually thinking I had a job. If you accept my offer, technically, you'd have two jobs. And what if they find out about this, huh? Then I'll have zero jobs. You'll have no use for me, and neither will they. They are not going to find out, as long as you do your job. I, I have to think about it. Okay. We should go. So what do you think I should do? Well, five grand a week would be nice, but something just doesn't seem right. That's what I was thinking. This was all my fault. I'm sorry. No, nah, don't do that. You had no idea. Who the hell would have? I don't think you should go back tomorrow. Really? They're back again, aren't they? I'll handle this. Way to handle it, baby. We're taking the bed, with or without you on it. Your choice. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Just, 
Look, we'll pay you in full by the end of next week. In full? Yes. And if not, then you can have it all. Everything. We'll see you soon. What was that? Just tell the old man you're gonna accept his offer. What? Look, I changed my mind. I noticed that. You did say that good things are coming, didn't you? Well, maybe this is it. It happens all the time is all I'm saying. I don't know, Alice. Just think about it, all right? We barely even know the guy. Well, why don't you invite him this weekend? Talk to him a little bit. See if he's trustworthy or not. I'll think about it. If you do, I'll do that thing you like oh so much. Oh. It's him. Oh, he's early. Well, you finish up. I'll go get the door. Come on in. Mr. Really wore him out yesterday. He's still <laughs> sleeping. Hey, Grant. Hey. You busy this weekend? I'm not sure yet. Sean's looking for someone to go fishing with. Alice. What? You do want someone to talk to, right? Yeah, but you're putting them on the spot. I'll go. You will? Yeah, I just need something to fish with. No problem. I'll bring an extra rod for you. Cool. Perfect. What time is it? 8.45. They leave yet? They just left. I take it you're accepting my offer? I didn't say that. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Oh, man. Oh, she really wore me out yesterday. So what do you think for breakfast? No, you know what? Let's go out for breakfast this morning. It'll be my treat. Okay. All right, I'll get dressed. So what'd you do for work before this? I was a security guard. What's the matter, you didn't like it? Not quite. I took the blame for an incident at work and as a result, I was fired. Well, what was the incident, if you don't mind me asking? One of the guys at work was caught looking at porn. <laughs> do you regret it? Taking the blame? Uh, I mean, it was a job, it paid the bills, but it's not what I want as a career. Yeah, and what do you want for a career? Well, I'm a writer. I'd like to get published someday. A writer? Really? <laughs> I would have thought you wanted to become a cop or something. Cop? <laughs> Why that? How else would you know that that gun Frankie was holding hadn't been fired? I thought you were some kind of gun expert or something. <laughs> no, I'm actually working on a story right now where I'm doing research on various weapons. Oh, what's the story about if I can ask? Or is it classified? So far, it's about a blind hitman, but I'm kind of stuck on that part right now. Well, don't force it. Just let the story sit for a while. Let it come out naturally. Yeah. I mean, I'm hoping going fishing with your son will help that. You sure you don't want to tag along? Nah, I'm sure there's a reason why he didn't invite me. It's about time. <sighs> Glad you can make it. Sorry I'm late. You going fishing? <laughs> no, Grant. I, uh, I didn't ask you out here this morning to go fishing. You, uh, you want a beer? Sure. Thank you. Then what are we doing here?
You, uh, you like making money, Grant? Is that a serious question? Well, uh, how'd you like to make some serious money? What's serious money? How's, uh, how's a couple million dollars sound? <laughs> a couple million, will we get that to kill your old man? Well, yeah. I prefer the phrase, uh, to get rid of. I think someone had a little too much to drink. <sighs> Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Why? It just has to be that way, Grant. It just has to be. Baby, what's wrong? You just seem so uninterested. Uh, <sighs> Way to make me feel sexy. It's not you, babe, it's not. Do you want to talk about it? Sean offered me a couple million to kill Murr. You're kidding. Yeah, it makes sense now to why Murr's doing all this. To see how his son would treat him. You think I should tell Mer? You've got to tell him. He deserves to know. True. So... Is he, uh, taking the night off? Or what? Because if he is, <laughs> this mouth of yours has some work to do. <laughs> hmm. You don't seem very surprised. You know that feeling when you assume something is true and you needed to know if it actually was? And then you discover what you thought was true actually is? Well, that's how I feel right now. So that's what this was all about? To see if your son actually cared for you or just your money? No, not quite. I wanted to find out if he was a better man than I was. Turns out he's actually worse. The girls were about five minutes away. There was an accident on the freeway. Mur? Tell the driver to take him back to the airport. Is everything okay? Frankie! Okay! Mur, you've got to get out of that house. It's not good for you. Nah. I got a better idea. I wonder what his car's doing here. <laughs> You're home early. Yeah, took a half day. Nice. Yeah. Dad, why don't you go on inside? I'll be in in a minute. I just want to talk to Grant out here for a little bit. What are you going to do, fire him? No, no, nothing like that. There's no nothing to worry about. You go on inside. I'll be right in. He likes you. That's good. So? Let me guess, you're curious to know if I gave it some thought? Yeah. I did. And? Let's talk over here. Okay. So what's your plan? Plan? Hypothetically, like, how do you expect all this to happen? Well, that's what I'm paying you the money for. It'll be creative. But, you know, obviously, it has to look like it was an accident. Ah, I see. Or, you know, maybe even a suicide. Suicides aren't an accident. <sighs> okay, um... Maybe he falls down, hits his head. You know, old people fall all the time. That won't work. It's a lot of blood. You know, okay, look. You know, I don't see you coming up with any ideas here, genius. Y you gotta be specific. Well, meaning... Well, at least dealing with Alzheimer's, dementia. What do those patients tend to go through? <laughs> they don't remember a damn thing. Duh. Yeah, so if they're unattended and they start to wander off. Oh, yeah. Maybe he wanders off and gets hit by a car. or He wanders out and falls in a ditch, breaks his legs, and he starves to death. <laughs> or wanders off near a body of water and can't swim. Yeah. 
perfect. And he drowns. Oh, that's great. Oh, maybe even catches hypothermia if it's cold enough out. That, that's, that's a believable story. I just don't know the area enough to know where the bodies of water Oh, the, I know the perfect place. But uh, just one more thing. What's that? You're going to have to be the guy that identifies the body. Me? Yeah. Um, I don't do dead bodies. That just freaks me out. Well, do you at least know if you want them cremated or buried? Well, cremation's way cheaper, right? So, what do you think? Nice job. You really think we could pull this off? Hey, I told you, I have everything taken care of already. Already? Ow. You would be amazed what money can buy you in this world. I'm starting to realize that. Hey, why don't you take this, uh... Um clicker and watch whatever you want. I think I'm going to shut my eyes for a little bit. Okay. Hey, you know, with me being here and all now, I hope it hasn't interfered with your marriage too much. No. Mar Actually, I'm glad you're here. It's brought me and Sean closer. Well, I thank you for the hospitality. And we appreciate you being here. I tell you, I made some modifications to my will this afternoon. You did? Hey, you never know. When your time is up, it's up. Huh. And besides, I wanted to make sure that my affairs were in order before I kicked the bucket. Have fun, old man. There you go. Mm -hmm. You nervous? A little. Everything will be fine. Just remember to bring back the ashes and send me a picture. Picture? Picture of what? Of him, you know, at the morgue. Like they do in the movies when they take a picture of a dead body. I thought you don't do dead bodies. Well, yeah, that's true, but I mean, it's a picture. I can handle a picture. What do you think I am? All right, we better get going. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. What's the matter? Nothing, why? Well, you're speeding for starters. Who are you calling? Dana, are you home? All right, all right good, stay there and don't leave until I say so. He wants a picture. A picture? Of you dead. I told you, I have everything taken care of. You have a mortuary beautician? A what? I didn't think so. You're actually going to have to look dead in order for this to work. All right, we got to do what we got to do. I don't, I don't think I can do it. We really need your help. I'm not saying that I won't do it. I'm saying I don't think I can actually do it. I don't understand. My job is to make the dead look alive, not the other way around. What if I do it and it just doesn't look right and then I mess up the entire plan? You know, Dana, when Grant and I were going over this plan, he insisted that I hire you. He said you'd be perfect for the job, you do excellent work. I gotta tell you, it was a pretty convincing presentation. Really? Come on, you don't have much more work to do. <laughs> Look at this face. Okay, I'll do it. Great. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. Sure looks that way. Finally. Thought you guys weren't gonna show. Boy? You know this guy? Yeah, hold on one second. Grant? Boy? What are you doing here? You're in on this? What do you mean? Sean hired me to help out. 
What? You know, you can cut the act. He told me about the plan. How do you know Sean? He's in my fantasy football league. Is that our guy? Listen, boy, whatever Sean told you, that isn't the plan anymore. What do you mean? He offered me Aaron Rodgers for Geno Smith just to take this guy out. Well, change of plans. Come on, man. Aaron Rodgers. I'm into this mess because of you. You owe me this. That's for sure. What do you want me to do? Hey, Murray, you in the move some Chinese? Only if he's buying. There goes your answer. So you're the schmuck that got him fired. I, I didn't tell him to take blame. And you like when women wear a strap on? I don't get it. Yeah. Well, that's not all femdom's about, you know? It's like using whips and chains and that sort of crap, right? Yeah. And body shaming and face sitting, you know? Who sits on who? Well, it's all about the woman being in control. So usually her, right? Hmm. I may have to check into that. You should. Okay, I'm not hungry anymore. You know, Boyd, if it hadn't been for you, I would have never met Grant. And for that, I want to sincerely thank you. You're welcome. So, Boyd, I have to ask, how are things with you, the wife, and kids? Actually, she left, you know, about a week ago. When I couldn't watch porn at work anymore, I took to watching at home anytime she'd be asleep or taking a shower, watching her shows. Turns out that's not the best way to save a dying marriage. Or so I'm learning. Hmm. Well, look, it's getting late. We say we get this show on the road. Let's go. I think we're done. So, how do I look? Good job, babe. <laughs> Smile. What? Now, when is the last time you've seen a dead person smiling? You told me to smile. Mer. <laughs> okay, you're the boss. All right, you're good, Mer. Hey, Dana, thank you for everything. Big time. Thank you. I'm glad I could help, and plus I had a lot of fun. Me too. You're all done. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll see you at home? Uh-huh. So what's in store for you now? Well, I'm not sure. What do you mean? I just don't know yet. Fair enough. You're a good guy, Grant. <laughs> Don't forget the documents in the urn. Keep in touch, all right? Yeah, you too. Don't be a stranger. What the, what the hell are you doing? Your phone. What? It's done. He did it. He did it? <laughs> We're gonna be rich, baby. Oh my God, he did do it. Mm -hmm. We are gonna be rich. <laughs> <laughs>
So? I, uh, I, I can't pay you, Grant. Why the hell not? Well, the son of a bitch was broke. Uh, he didn't leave me a dime. Well, no, no, that's, that's not entirely true. What are you saying? You want me to give this to you? <laughs> you said treat her well. She's an old woman now. You okay? This, this key. It's, he said he got rid of this car years ago. I begged him for this car. He wouldn't even let me buy it from him. Fucking asshole. God, what the hell have I done? <laughs> How the hell am I going to live with myself after this? Isn't it a little late to be having second thoughts? You know, he, he genuinely liked you. I could tell. He did. Must have... So it really made it harder for you, you know, when the time came. I did what you asked me to do. Did he, did he have any last words or say anything at the end? He said thank you. He said thank you? Thank you for helping him see life differently. By, by what? By being dead? You weren't exactly clear with what you asked for. You know what I meant. No, he's not. Well, how can that be? Uh, the ashes, the, the pictures from the morgue, all that. It's quite the story. Well, if he's not dead, then where the hell is he? Wherever he wants to be. What? Are you insane? You just let him take off to wherever? The, the guy has dementia, for God's sakes. I mean, are you stupid? He doesn't have Alzheimer's or dementia. He was just testing you, and needless to say, you failed. You know what? Just take the car he gave you, and be thankful he gave your selfish ass anything at all. Hey! Hey Grant, it's good to hear from you. I wanted to ask you something. Okay. It was just brought to my attention that a production company wants to make an adaptation of our book. You mean your book? How do you feel about that? Just make sure they get a good looking actor to play me. <laughs> Is that your way of giving me permission? Yes, you have my permission, but under one condition. Do I dare even ask? If you can, Tell my son that I forgive him? What? R really? You sure, Mer? Yeah, I'd do it myself, but God knows what he'd do if he saw me in person after all that's taken place. I guess I can't argue against that. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> what do you want? Can I speak with Sean? <laughs> His broke ass doesn't live here anymore. Oh. Yeah. You know, maybe if he stopped drinking and listened to me and sold that old car, he'd be here to speak with you. You know where I could find him? <sighs> Take care. <laughs> hey! You know what? You're lucky. Another minute in these hands would have been a little too busy for answering the door. You know oh, what I mean? Great. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> no problem. What's up? You know where Sean is? You know, I actually do. Boy, he's not here. No, I checked everywhere you told me to. Boyd, I'll call you back.
So what did he say? I didn't get to deliver your message. Why not? I've been told that he'd been here a lot recently, but there's no sight of him. Well, these... And this. Hmm. You don't think he... I don't know. Alice said he had been drinking a lot. She kicked him out the house. So by the looks of things... Took my death pretty hard, huh? It sure seems like it. Well, I sure as shit didn't expect this to be the outcome. Damn! You gonna be all right, Mer? Yeah, I'll manage. Hollywood, welcome back. Hey, Mer, what's going on? Oh, come on in, come on in. Come on, get out of the weather there. <gasps> Look at you. What do you do? Not for a couple months but uh, we wanted to keep it a surprise. Well, you two sure can't keep a secret. <laughs> and how you been? Pretty good. Speaking of surprises, rough cut. Already? Boy, yeah. that was quick. You want to check it out? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, you guys want something to eat or drink? Oh, we could eat. Well then, come on in the kitchen. <laughs> I just have the floors done, so be careful that you don't slip. been busy <laughs> yeah doesn't she look great you look fucking amazing and guess what she's hungry ah uh, i bet you are uh fish okay yeah great i'll set two more places oh. hello father i thought you said he was dead i thought he was you know how it is these days you just can't trust anyone to do something for you sometimes you just got to do something yourself Sean, what do you want? I'm here for just one thing, Dad. <laughs> Shit! Oh my God! It oh. 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 <gasps> you know, I gotta give you credit, Dan. That was some really great makeup work you did on him. I was really impressed. Grant? We weren't expecting this, were you, Grant? It's funny, I don't remember a 38 special sounding like a 45 Glock. Yeah, well, did you account for the acoustics in the room? And are you really that certain, Grant? Are you really gonna trust all the research you've done about guns? You know, not everything you read on the internet's true. That's right, I've read your book. I don't like the way you portrayed my character. Not one bit. <laughs> Anything to say? Grant! Suit yourself. No! Gotcha! <laughs> how, did, how did you know that these were blanks? Didn't I tell you this guy was fucking good? Come on guys, blanks always sound louder. I tell you, you can't fool this guy unless... What? I didn't say anything, I swear. You were in on this? Yeah. <laughs> when did you two become civil with one another? Okay. Well, ever since you sent me that GoPro video, I've been keeping tabs on him. And I've been sending numerous people over to try and buy that car. He wouldn't sell it. So then right then and there, I knew something was up. Yeah, Dad and I settled our differences, and he helped me to come to realize that Alice really wasn't interested in me for anything other than my potential wealth. And, well, he got me sober, and he clean me up and help me get my life back together. And here we are. So you two planned this together. Yep. Looks like you're not the only one that can keep a secret, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> now, how about this movie? Yeah. Yes. 